What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Jano as always, and today we are talking about something pretty cool. We are talking about the version 1 auto syringe injectinator something, I don't know, we're going full doofenshmirtz today. But I'm showing off a design that I made a while back, um, originally this is, this. I made this back when I saw all these videos coming out about like submarines almost, like, like little RC controlled ones, but I wanted to do my own little take on it, so I had a device that I wanted to use for my laser printers. Now the laser printers use some dangerous chemicals, so I wanted a way to accurately measure them without really like worrying and has had this whole idea for like hanging this thing, doing this art thing. Let me show you guys quick the device. And this is it right here. So this is the device, uh, also ignore, I cut my thumb earlier today, but this device allows you to actuate a syringe inside of a closed tube to move liquids around and or air and or pressure just based off a of motor. Let me uh, let me take this thing apart and I'm gonna hook it back up to the other motor controller from the thing real quick. Okay, let me show you quick how this thing works because I took this design from, from an idea that people were using to make air ballast inside of these like underwater RC tanks. But all it is is a little lead screw attached to a motor that controls a piston that goes inside of a tube. And using, using a 3D print, which is this part right here and the rubber seal on the top, you're able to make a tube that can actually up and down inside if the motor is locked in place which I thought was pretty cool and arguably a really cool way to make something like this it's supposed to be for air compression but at the same time it works pretty well for uh, picking up liquids and pushing liquids out and anything else you'd need uh, I guess on, on that front with these let me show you quick I'm gonna attach it back to the motor I'm gonna steal the motor out of this uh, this other project this is the gains dispenser uh, long long story but we're using the same motor to operate this one that we are to operate this one so I'm gonna grab the control electronics out of this one sec I got this whole other control system hooked back in, and now we can spin the motor either direction, just like that. And let me get this slotted back on top of this. You gotta use a trick. And you blow into the top of it and you can get the, the piece back out. <laughs> And just like that, it's all running and working again. So the idea is you have half of the tube consumed by this actual rod, but since the rod is inside pushing it, it lets you push all the way to the end of the actual syringe itself. Uh, and keeping with that, you can push air pressure, you can push liquids, you can push whatever you want to a really accurate amount using the microcontrollers to actually control everything. Let me grab, let me grab some water. And for the video, I'm gonna show you real quick pulling water out of something and putting it back in. So we're gonna push some bubbles in there and then we'll go. Just like that, so we have a little bit of water in the actual syringe, and then I can shoot it right back out. Cool. <laughs> now, the idea isn't to use this for water necessarily, but water and air pressure were the, the main things that were driving this, but it was to use it with the resins that I have. Let me show you, let's just take you out to the shed real quick and show you. Welcome to my balcony shed. Uh, this is where I keep all of the laser printing stuff. And this is what I was talking about with the resins that I'm gonna have to use this on. So these resins you really don't want to play too much with. They're kind of they're kind of not too uh, safe, and you really don't want to get them on your skin. So having a syringe that'll let me accurately measure how much resin to put in the printer is gonna be super 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 useful. Yeah. But that's about it. I wanted to show you guys something quick video today. Just another one of the 50 million projects I have. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you find this thing useful. I know I'm going to have a use for this in the near future. Also, that, that same thing. I kind of want to try one of those art things too, where you maybe I hang this and I write a piece of code to make it like drop paint at like really specific intervals. I thought that was a pretty good cool idea too. But that's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed it as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>